Welcome back to the NFL Prop Shop. Here we go with the big week eight action in the NFL. It's currently Friday, October 25th. I'm joined with my guy. He's known for dropping bombs on the bookies, Mr. Spenny Penny Bombs. Spenny, happy Friday, my friend. How are you? How are you doing, Mikey? How are you doing? Pimp Slap, play of the day. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see everybody. Uh, and uh, I love uh, you know doing this show with you. And let's, uh, let's hop into it and, and get some NFL uh, props going today. Well, let's keep rolling. You guys are new to Prop Shop. Here's what we do. We each give two player props for the NFL this weekend. Parlay them, put them together, same game opportunities, whatever the fact may be and how you want to utilize them. And then we wrap the show up with either a side or a total from each of us for a parlay. We plugged it in pretty extreme here. And uh, plus 261 is what this parlay is going to pay out this week. So, Spenny, without further ado, let's open the shop up, my friend. Let's get paid this weekend. How are we attacking game number one? Let's get it. Yeah, let's open the shop up. Let's get some let's get some plays going in here. I like uh, first spot on the card here today is uh, Drake London uh, over 67 and a half receiving yards at minus 110. Uh, and then I also like uh, Drake London to score a touchdown at plus 130. Uh, Bucks are the 10th. Uh, they're giving up the 10th most fancy points of wide receivers this year. Uh, we just watched. Uh, you know, the Ravens absolutely torched this defense last year, last week with a bunch of points and a bunch of y- yards here. Um, you know, Zay Flowers probably would have been the, the main guy to get a lot of those yards. Got hurt a little bit in the game. Bateman took over. Um, I mean, this is a spot where Drake is just going to absolutely eat here today. He's guys seeing uh, over eight targets per game, basically eight and a half targets a game. Uh, he's got a touchdown in three straight games. Uh, just it seems like a really good spot for for Drake to continue on his production with um, um which is not a uh, quarterback over there right now in Atlanta. My God, Kirk Cousins. There you go. Kirk with Kirky Boy. Right. With, with Kirky Boy. Because you know Kirk's always going to air it out regardless. So that's just the way that is for him. Love it. Love to see the opening up. A little double dipper there with the touchdown sprinkle on top. Love to get the card going in that direction. I'm going to open the card up on uh, my side of the house here. Going to go back to another quarterback prop. We've been dialed in with these spots here all the way back to the first week we did this show. and. Uh, this week's going to be no exception. We've got the Green Bay Packers, and uh, I'm looking to see a little Jordan Love action. Spenny, this Jaguars defense is the worst in the NFL when it comes to passing yards allowed to opponents. They're averaging 275 passing yards allowed per game. You dig it back a little bit. Our guy Drake May there, we cashed on this guy. Week one is opening debut on uh, the NFL. He goes out there last week. He puts up 276 yards. He gets himself two passing touchdowns. Gosh, they even let Caleb Williams go out there for 226 yards and four touchdowns. Old man time. Joey Flacco comes in there to replace Richardson in that short lineup for the Indianapolis Colts. Flacco gets 360 yards. And we've got Jordan Love's number pegged at 257 and a half. That's his average on the year. Why wouldn't we take advantage? Now you look at his last game. You know, he only gets 220 yards. That was a weird game. He gets three touchdowns and two interceptions. Uh, But the weird thing about that on the other side, C.J. Stroud, Mr. 500 in the NFL, seems like he passes every week for 500 yards. He only gets 86. So there was not a bunch of air assault in that game out there. And I think it's a bounce back spot. I think we see these guys regress back to the means. In this case, that's going to get us back to that 258 or so Uh, passing yards. He's done it three of five times on the season. He's dealt with some injuries, but he's got a healthy wide receiver core back out there. Josh Jacobs is a great compliment. Even Josh Jacobs caught his first career passing touchdown last week. Guy's got 211 career receptions. Uh, That was his first touchdown. So Jordan Love, not afraid to put that ball in the air. I think this is a great lineup against his defense. And play the ladder game, 275 plus. That's right in mark with the Jags average allowed passing defense. That's plus 136. Take a shot at that 300 at plus 250. That's the way we've been cashing on these quarterback props, Benny. I'm going to go after it. Let's eat. Yeah. I love to hear it. I love it. And I like that spot. Honestly, we were talking about earlier, the, the Jags defense, uh, you know, they're decent or okay against the rush, but that secondary is just got awful. And, and, and looks like it's a really good spot to take advantage of it. Take advantage. We will. Let's talk about your next player prop spot. How we get paid? Yeah, and uh, you know, spot number two for me is another wide receiver and another really good spot here. Uh, I like DJ Moore over fifty-seven and a half receiving yards at minus one ten, uh, and a touchdown spot for him as well at plus one sixty-two. Uh, Washington again, bottom ranked, uh, bottom five ranked uh, um, secondary. Uh, Saint Juice 
Canadian, but sorry, bro. I don't have love that much love for you. You're getting beat consistently by number one receivers all over the field. Uh, so I think DJ, again, is going to eat. Uh, he actually destroyed them last year when they played them for over 230 yards. I think DJ just has an absolute monster game here again today, or on Sunday here. And uh, so give me that, uh, give me that uh, over 57 and a half receiving yards plus, uh, or sorry, minus 110, touchdown at plus 162. Again, I just think that he's getting the production. He's seeing almost eight targets a game. Uh, he's one of uh, Caleb's, you know, favorite targets out there and just a spot where, you know, St. Juice can't cover the top end receivers. So, so give me DJ Moore here. What a great look with DJ Moore, man. This guy's, I don't know if it's the second wind. Uh, or if it's just his kind of coming out after he got traded off to Chicago, it was like, oh, by the way, let's add DJ Moore to the prop part the, to the trade parlay. And uh, ever since then, he has been on fire. Didn't matter if it's Justin, it doesn't matter who's out there for this guy. He found himself to be a deep ball threat. He's got multi talents out there. You mentioned picking on that secondary. The man, the I was going to say the Redskins here, the Commanders. <laughs> Yikes, you look at what they're doing overall. They are just allowing yards and yards and yards. Their opponents are averaging, you know, just over 200 yards when it comes to the passing game. But, man, these wide receivers certainly can feast. I think it's a great matchup. I'm going to go to a matchup here. I think it's got some, some meat on the bone. Pay attention, everybody. It is tight end week. They do it once a year. It's a big spot out there, and they love to feature these tight ends. We know we've got, you know, the core three, if you will, Kelsey, Kittle, and Mark Andrews are all guys that I think are vulnerable or are liable to get touchdowns and find pay dirt, but they're priced like it as well. I went deep. I went into this Miami Dolphins game, and I'm looking at a guy by the name of Jonu Smith. Tight end extraordinaire. He's number three on this Miami Dolphins team in um, you know receptions. He's got 21 receptions through six games. He's only behind Waddle, who's got 22. He's behind Tyreek Hill, the cheetah, with 24. And he's averaging 40 yards a game. All of that, keep in mind, was without Tua or questionable Tua for half of the season. He had to deal with Huntley. He had to deal with Skylar Thompson. And now we've got Tua back. That brings the passing game back into attack. It feels like it's a super fast turnaround for Tua, given uh, the things that we saw early in the season here. But, man, tight end week, Johnny Smith, plus 330. Seems like good money. You know what? Take a look at his over a half a rushing yard. That's priced at plus 725. They've used him already. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see him kind of open up this playbook and try to get a little creative, maybe a little more run-oriented style here because they don't want to bring Tua back in and see what happens again. So uh, I'm going to take Johnny Smith. I love that plus 330 price tag, Benny. Yeah, no, that's a that's a great price, especially for John U. And you know he's been he's you know been fairly productive uh, this year uh, in that offense. Um, and I think that yeah, Tua coming back uh, definitely going to open up the playbook uh, and and be able to you know air it out a little bit more and and hopefully get him a you know a red zone look. And it's tight end week. Let's go. Why not yep. take advantage? Uh, speaking of taking advantage, let's talk about this plus two sixty one parlay. Uh, you know, it's interesting because we talked backstage uh, before we started shooting this and um, we're both in alignment. We both like these spots together collectively and uh, open us up. I know you want to talk about this Green Bay Packers, Jacksonville Jaguars game. Uh, steam coming in on this Green Bay Packers. We just talked about how vulnerable this Jaguars defense can be, especially with the passing attack. Talk to us about how we're getting the first leg of the parlay. Yeah, again, I just I just don't uh, trust this Jacksonville team. I just I just don't think that they're very good. Uh, they've you know their their wins have come against terrible teams. You know their last one against New England there, which is just you know New England's on a, a whole another level of mess right now. Uh, trying to figure out what they're trying to do over there. Uh, but yeah, this secondary it's weak. Um, I think that Love can take advantage, take a uh, you know make the spots he needs to, uh, be able to move the ball down the field, and then put up the points that he needs to against this Jaguars defense. And I just think that. The uh, Green Bay defense is just much better overall this year. Their run defense is much better. Their uh, pass defense has been better all. Just their overall defense altogether this year. Uh, they're they're playing much better but ball, and I think that uh, Love is just uh, going to take advantage of uh, of for the spot that he's in here against the Jaguars D. So give me the Green Bay Packers minus four here. I love the play. I love the spot. I you nailed it. I think it's a great play, a straight up play. Uh, parlay piecers, key man parlay that thing if you want as well. I love that Green Bay spot this week here. They're going to a little bounce back too. You know, they failed to cover the spread in that battle with uh, with Houston last week. But uh, teams in that opportunity, the overreaction, when a team doesn't cover and they're between a three and five point favorite the following week, they are 17 and five. So that is a tremendous look 
I'm with you 100% there. And I'm going to add a leg to this thing in that Buccaneers-Falcons game. And I'm going to go to the under. This thing has moved from 44 to 46, but we talked a little backstage about this as well. Man, this... I don't know who's going to score these touchdowns. Is it going to be Bucky Irving? I know he's a he's a prop shop favorite that you and I have nailed a couple of times this season. But he's out. He's out. He's out. It's going to be he's it's going to be Sean, Sean Tucker and and uh, Rashad White season over in Buffalo and uh, and over there in uh, in Tampa Bay. Evans Godwin. I mean, that's going to be I think a struggle to get some points. I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised to see our guy in um, you know Baker Mayfield find a way here, but should be a battle. We should see this game. Again, it's come up now to 46 and 46 and a halfs in some markets out there. And big spot, you know, when we've got a home team in a revenge game, they're coming off a loss against a non-divisional opponent as a dog. They're 38 and 11 to the under in those next spots. You think about what that's telling us out there. They take a loss. What do you do after that? Well, you go back to your court. You focus on playing some defense, try to strategize and shut them down. And to complement that, we got a complete mash unit of uh, injuries across that Tampa Bay spot. So we'll take the official line at 46. We'll parlay the 46 with the Green Bay under 46 and Green Bay minus four. And that's a plus 261 parlay, Spenny. Let's get it. I feel damn good about that thing. What about you? Like that's a good That's a good price, and it's looking real good. I think uh, that's a good spot for this weekend. Well, I know you're coming off the hot hand last night. I saw some great touchdown props from you, and you got some cash out there. Tell the people where they can find you, what you got cooking. Yeah, you guys uh, can always catch me at uh, at Pengi underscore eight on Twitter. Uh, I'm there, you know, posting plays all the time, uh, NBA, NFL, whatever that uh, is out and available. I love taking plus monies. I like taking shots. So uh, if you're worried about maybe numbers or things like that, you know, how many times you think that somebody, um, you know, I mean, wins I might get, wins and losses, just look at the the ROA. Uh, you know, I, I could I could be down, you know, five you know, a five and eight night or something like that, but I can still be up four units because of the prices that I take. So it's not always about sometimes the numbers that you, you, you're, uh, you know, the wins and losses. It's about some of the prices that you take here. Cause I take some shots. And if you're willing to, you know, eat a couple losses here and there, you're going to still be up on top with that money. Absolutely. That's how you earn the nickname. Spenny, Penny bombs. He drops them bombs out there on them bookmakers. And it's always fun to get him in here with me on Friday to, Talk a little shop, give some NFL prop parlays out there. And then I love trading messages back and forth on Sunday when uh, when we see our guys and what do we need still and how's this looking and that looking. So uh, real thankful to have you be a part of the NFL prop shop here with uh, our Sports Money Network, Spenny. Thank you guys all for watching. If you do me the favor, hit that thumbs up button, support the cause, promote the brand for us out there, get this video on notification and Share your favorite props, sides, and parlays in the comments for us as well. We'll be sure to recognize all you guys as we move forward. And here, thank you guys on behalf of Sports Money, on behalf of Spenny Penny Bombs. We'll see you guys real soon. Good luck with your bets. Have a glorious NFL Sunday. Get that cash. Get that cash, boys.